Okay. Okay, so we have the uh, camera in place. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Hi, everybody. How are you all doing? All right, so today uh, we're going to do a seating and standing exercise. We'll so start off with, uh, we're just going to just uh, tap our toes. And just say, let's put up in our toes, just going to go through a few things. So just make sure, and uh, yes, you know, your room that you're in is adequately ventilated. Um, make sure you have a water bottle by your side if you need to have that. If you want to add some additional tins of beans, to give yourself a bit of a challenge with the exercises, you can also do that as well. Okay. Any kind of chest pain, refrain from exercising. Any kind of severe shortness of breath, refrain from exercising. Okay, let's do it. So let's move our toes up and down. Good. There you go. And from there, so moving our toes up and down, just going to lift your heels off the floor. Lift your heels off the floor. That's a good. Okay, keep it going. Lift your heels off the floor again. This is the warm up designed to increase our pulse, minimizing risk of injury, um, increase our heart rate, and uh, also try to just get um, our muscles working. Okay, so from there, it's going to go from heels and toes. So, heels and toes, that's good. Well so far. Well done. So, from there, from the heels and toes, you can bring your legs forwards. You know, just touch down on the ground. And again, this is a uh, seated and standing. So, if you wish to, and you want to, you can do most, if not all, of your exercises standing. So, it's up to you, okay? And again, if you feel that any point during this exercise session that you feel as though you're not going too slow for your pace, so you're quite welcome to speed up and vice versa. You feel like I'm going too fast for you, slow it down, all right? There you go. So from there, straighten your leg out. Good. One at a time. Straighten your legs. Good. Keep it going. Good. Keep it going, straighten your legs. Okay, it's working a major muscle in the front of your leg, which is the quadricep. There we go. So from there, just rest your legs now, just tap your shoulders. Good. Just tap your shoulders. There you go. If you haven't got the range of movement to tap your shoulders, just bend your arm as you are, just do what you can. Work the range of movement that works for you. And just say if you're in uh, sitting, so try and keep as upright as you can because then you're engaging your stomach muscles to work a bit more. If you're doing this in standing, it's in exactly the same. So I've just lost my head. <laughs> okay, there you go. Otherwise, there we go. I'm just going to just position the camera so keep on moving your arms. There we go. Keep it going. Move your legs as well. Good. So move your arms and your legs. Okay. So there, so just count down from four, three, two, and one. So from there, keep your legs steady, move your arms up above your head. There we go. Good. So again, if you are sitting, just keep as tall as you can. If you're standing, just move your arms the same way. Good. Good, keep it going. So five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and let's walk over, do some punches. If you are standing, then you can just move your, your legs and your arms. So as you punch, just lift your heel off the floor as you punch. If you're sitting, just continue. Okay, this is the warm up again, so don't go too vigorously, just go nice and easy. Just work the pace that works for you at any point during a session. 
if you need to take a water break or you feel that you need to have a breather, then feel free to stop and just join in when you are ready. Okay, three, two, one. Just drop your arms down, work our shoulders a bit. Here we go. So bring your shoulders up to your ears. Doesn't matter which direction you're going in because we're going to do the opposite direction anyway. So that's okay. Again, keep as tall as you can in your chairs. Bring your shoulders up to your ears. That's a bit good. Okay. Keep going. Four, three, two, one, and change direction. Good. Again, keeping as upright as you can. Just really working those shoulders, bringing them up towards your ears. That's good. Four, three, two, one. Okay, from there, it's going to cross your arms over and just, just turn from side to side. Uh, nice and slowly. Should you call you any pain in your back? Turn side to side. You're standing exactly the same. When you're standing, I'm also saying to people, keep your knees soft. So don't lock your knees. Keep them nice and soft. There we go. Okay, four, three, two, one. To finish off our warm up, just gonna go and do some mini marches. So just uh, lift your feet up. Do a countdown from 10, 9, 8. If you're standing, keep going. 7, 6, 5. Keep going. 4, 3, Two, one, good. Okay, so from there, let's start off with we're going to push the muscles as we're standing. Stand, okay, so lift your bottom of the chair. If you feel that you need to hold onto the chair arms, then hold onto the chair arms, okay? Do whatever works for you. If you're just sitting and you can't go into standing, just lift your bottom of the chair if you can, do it from the side so you can see me. Even if you can't lift the bottom of the chair, just do some bottom squeezes and go to the action. So leaning forward, squeeze your bottom. If you can lift your bottom, lift your bottom off the chair. Okay, so continue. Good. And again, if you need to use chair arms or whatever's in the side of you to, to lean on, give yourself or put your hands on the legs so you can do that. Just working through that. Good. Doing well so far. Good. So sitting to stand at any point, if you need to have a rest, take a rest. There we go. And once you're sitting, don't just slam yourself down, nice and easy, working through those muscles, working through your quadriceps, which is a major muscle at the front of your leg, your bottom muscles, working those, working your abductors, which is between your leg. There you go, just keep working. That's it. And also breathing at the same time. Four, three, Two, one, so from there, just going to just bring your legs out to the side. Good. So bring your legs now to your side. Okay, if you're sitting, just continue doing exactly the same. That's it, good. Doing well so far. There we go. Okay. There we go, just good. Four, three, two, one. So what we're going to do is as we're keeping our legs moving, we're going to turn into our legs. Good. So you can do some standing. If you're standing, it's exactly the same. That's it. It's exactly the same. If you want to make a bit more challenge for yourself, what you can do is raise your knee. Okay. It takes a bit more energy to do this. But it's all good. Okay. So again, you don't have to raise your knee. You can just do that. That's fine. Okay, keep it going. Doing well so far. So just do what works for you. Don't overexert yourself. Good. Okay, keep it going. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, okay, take a breather. If you need to sit down, sit down, or otherwise remain standing. So from there, what we're gonna do, 
There is a one-armed rose, so you can place the one arm, the rest of the hand on the leg or on the chair. The other arm, just bring your elbow back. It's good. It's working it. Really bringing your elbow back. Good. Again, you can do this in standing, exactly the same. That's it. Keep working it. That's it. Bring that arm back. Doing well so far. Good. So I'm just cutting your head off. Sorry about that. <laughs> Going in four, three, two, one, and swap over. There we go. Keep it going. Let's bring the elbow back again, working those muscles around your shoulder blades, those back muscles, working your deltoids, which are the muscles up here. Keep on working it. Remember, the knees are nice and soft, so you're not fully extended at the knees. Okay, you should be quite relaxed doing this. Good. Keep it going, you're doing quite well. So in four, three, two, one, okay? Have a rest. If you need to sit down, sit down. So today we decided that we're gonna go for a little swim. Why are we gonna go for a swim? Because we're feeling energetic. It's a lovely day. So we decided to do some front crawl in our swimming pool. So you can bring your arms up your head. And you can do some standing if you wish. It's exactly the same. Okay, good. Otherwise, if you're sitting down, bring your arms. The front core movements, okay? So bring your arms as close to your head as you can. And just rotate in at the shoulders. Good. Keep it going. Right. Again, go at the pace that works for you. If this is way too slow for you, you can always speed it up and vice versa if it's too fast. Slow it down. If you haven't got the range of movement, what you can do is just lower your arms a bit. Just work in the range of movement that works for you, okay? Four, three, two, one. So we've got to one side of the pool. Now we're going to go back, but this time we're going to do backstroke. We're bringing the arms back. It's good. Keep it going. Bringing your arms back, that's it. Rotating at the shoulders. Keep it going. Doing well so far. That's it, a nice steady stroll. That's it. That's it. Keep it going. Okay, four, three, two, one okay and relax shake your arms out a bit so from there let's give our i've got top half a bit of a rest let's work our legs so keep your feet firmly on the ground lift your heels up we're going to count down for five four three two one and down if you're standing you can lean against something a wall or a cabinet and do exactly the same so come up on your heels up and then just three two one down and again, five, four, three, two, one. And then if you, if you can't make five seconds, just do what you can. If it's two seconds, that's okay. You need to work on those muscles. Two, one. Now, one more. Okay. So up, four, three, two, one, and down. So from there, what you're doing. You can stand your voices. So what you can do this time you're going to just lift your toes up and your heels remain firmly on the ground, lifting your toes up. So I don't know if you can see the toes, but the toes are being lifted, my heels are on the ground. Okay. So if you are doing this and standing, make sure that you're safe and do exactly the same. Lifting your heels up, maybe hold on to something. Feeling confident and feeling safe, then you can just lift your, your toes off the ground. There you go. Keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Okay. If you need to take a breather, take a breather. Otherwise, a nice easy one to get you going again. So, with our wrists, we're just going to have our arms, forearms just parallel to the ground, and just turn our wrists in and out. Good. 
Turn your wrists in and out. Again, creating some rotations in your arms. There we go. Good. That's it. Good. Doing well so far. Keep it going. Again, if you're doing it in standing, exactly the same. Just turn your arms in and out. Okay, good. So in five, four, three, two, one. So from there, what we're going to do, we're going to create some fists with our hands. Um, so what you're going to do, then you can do this in standing or sitting. It's going to have your hands here, scrunch your hands up, creating a fist. So imagine that you're creating all the tension into your hands, really creating some force with those muscles, and then relax. Okay. Again, clench your fists, really clench them hard. Okay, good, keep it going. Clench your fists, scratch off your, your, your fingers, and relax. And again, do this two more times. So really clenching your fists, doing really well there. That's good, that's it. Really scrunch up your fingers, that's it. And last one, just relax, and last one. That's it, good. So clenching those, clenching your fists, like really mad. So in four, three, two, one. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, you can sit down or stand. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go down to the shops. So how are we gonna do that? So we're gonna move our feet. Now the shops are closing in approximately 10 minutes, so we need to kind of get a shift on kind of thing, so it's moving our legs. Okay, so we decided that moving our legs, what more can we do to get there a bit quicker? Maybe we just move our arms as well. So good. So really working it, working your arms and your legs, because you really want to get to the shop before it closes, and you don't want to get to the shop and the guy says to you, sorry mate, we're closed. So you want to get there. So you're really getting a shift on. That's it. So really working it. Working for your arms, working for your legs. So we've got a bit of a in our journey. We've got to go up in a little bit. So you've really got to kind of bring those knees up and bring your arms up as well. That's it, good. That's it. So five, four, three, two, one. And you've got to shot. So now you've got to the shop, you're on your way back. So you, you pass a, a park on the way and you see like an outdoor gym which has a boxing ring in there. So you decide, okay, I'm going to just give it some because I feel really good. So I decided to do some punching on the punch bag which was outside as well. Punching that punch bag, that's it, good. You're feeling fantastic today. You don't care what the world is like because you feel fantastic. It's great. That's it, good. So you're punching. Punching away, so punching across, so just rotating your wrist as you punch as well. Okay, keep it going. So you can do your pace, whatever pace works for you. If it's slower, make it slower. If it's faster, do it faster. Whatever works for you. So keep going. So from there in four, three, two, one, so you're shaking your arms off, and now you decide to do so. You've got your punch bag, you're going to do some punches to the side of it. Here we go, that's it, good. Really giving it some. You're giving all that, you know, grunting that you hear in the gym. <gasps> Here we go. There you go, that's it. So, really working it, working those arms, doing really well here, getting that range of movement, really working it, really punching the side, using loads of energy. Here we go, so keep it going. Doing very well so far. So in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, just shake your arms out. So from there, we'll do some punching upwards, some uppercuts. Okay, so really punching upwards. That's it, good. You're doing really well here. Really keeping it some again for standing. Same thing, punching upwards. That's it. Really getting some leverage in there, using loads of energy. That's it. Doing very well. Keep it going. Just going to move this chair a little bit. That's it. So I can stand up so I'm not my head isn't chopped off. That's it. Good. 
So five, four, three, almost there, two, one. Okay, so now you decided that, you know what, we will be good. Your boxing ring, I was going to do some punching and some moving as well. So moving your feet. Okay, if you're sitting, you can do exactly the same. So keep punching and move your feet. Exactly the same, okay? If you're standing, you don't have to move your feet, but what you can do is bend at the knees, whatever works for you. Are you moving, hitting and moving? You can move your body if you like to. That's it, good. Keep it going. There we go. Are you moving up and under as well? That's it, good. And again, up and under. Again, you don't have to skip your feet. If you don't want to skip your feet, you can do just hit and move. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a breather, shake your arms out a little bit. So from there, we've seen in our little outdoor gym, we've got a speed ball. So we've got a speed ball, we've got our arms up, and we're going to hit that speed ball. I don't even remember the rocky flows, but yeah, just hitting that little, little, little ball, and it's just like hitting against it. That's it, good. If you haven't got a range of movement, you can bring your arms down, do exactly the same thing, okay? Or you can do it in sitting. Now carry on doing what you're doing. So if you do it in sitting, we can bring your arms up above your head, whatever works for you. Okay, we can work with that. There you go, keep it going. You really give it some wedding, getting a nice little bit of sweat on. There we go. You're really working those arms. That's it, doing very good so far. So six, keep going. Five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, let's have a little breather. So from there, we decided that, you know what? Get a skipper rope over there. I'm going to use it. So we decided, you know, you've got your skipper rope. So you're moving your feet, moving your arms at the same time. If you're standing, you can just do that. That can be the same kind of thing. Okay. So you can just do your skipping rope. That's it, good, keep it going. Doing well so far. Okay, moving your arms, moving your legs. If you want to move your head, your knees a bit higher, that's up to you. Because you're getting really good at this, really confident. Good, keep it going. So in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so. Now you decided you had your workout, so you decided to go back home. So you're walking back home. That's the bit. Open your arms and your legs. Okay, you're not using any energy because you're feeling fantastic today. Okay, so you are walking home. You're know, feeling good because you had a nice little bit of a workout. So you go home and then in your back garden, you see that age old thing, that tree there. That tree's got to come down because it's blocking your view from your kitchen. So you can't see the beautiful ambience beyond that tree. Okay, so. What we're going to do now, get your little axe in your hand, and then you're going to get your axe, and then you're going to chop downwards on our tree. So up and down. There we go. You're chopping that tree down. Again, if you're splitting, carry on, guys. Just keep on chopping that tree down. So up and down. There we go. Get going. Keep it going. That's it. Chopping that tree down. So really getting your back into it, bending those knees as you chop downwards. Good. Okay, doing very well so far. Almost there. That's it. In five, four, three, two, one. Wow, you're really tired, but you know you've got another half to go. So you're there, chopping downwards. That's it. Good. Doing well so far. Chopping downwards again. You're sitting. Carry on chopping that tree. Whatever works for you. You need to take a break, take a break. You do really well so far. You only got one exercise after this. Then you go almost there in three, two, one. Timber! The tree comes down, so you decided, like, I still can't see from my window, so I'm just seeing those windows. Getting the window lean out, and then you're watching those windows. So you just go side to side. That window, that's it. 
good. Leaning forwards, getting some back into it. There you go. And down. Big window. There we go. Up. Good. And down. Just to clean that window. And all the crevices in the corners. There you go. Clean that window. So in five, four, you can do this in sitting. Three, two, one. Exactly the same on the other side. Okay. So you are sitting. Exactly the same. No difference. But up and down. Okay. So you're really working from corner to corner, trying to clean that window. Good. Keep it going. Doing well so far. We're almost there. See, almost there, guys. Good. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you've done. Job well done, guys. There's one final thing we're just going to do, and then we're going to do a cool down, so some stretches at the end. So what you're going to do, I'm just going to bring your arms. You can do this in sitting as well as standing. And all you're going to do, these are called good morning, just bend forward, up and down, okay? So keeping your back as straight as you can, up and down. The so knees slightly bent, okay? Again, in sitting, it's exactly the same. So up and down, good. Doing well so far. Almost there. Three more of these to go. So three. Two, one, good. Well done, guys. Okay, don't go yet because we've got a cool down to do. So we're going to do again in sitting or standing. Just bring your arm in front of you, across your body, your hand to meet your elbow. Bring your arm closer to your body. Good. And then stretching the arm, stroke, shoulder. Also a bit of uh, your deltoid up there. I'm just saying shoulder joint. Okay, so just stretch that, just hold it there. And from there, swap your arm over and exactly the same, bring your hand towards your elbow, bring your arm closer to your body. Good. So just hold it there. Just make sure you breathe for the exercise. You worked pretty hard today and you are worth it. Well done to you all. But from there, just bring your arms, and give yourself a bit of a hug because you're worth it. Good, well done. Give yourself a pat. Good. Again, once you're doing this, you can do some standing, or you can do this um, sitting, giving yourself a hug. If you're standing, just make sure you're soft at the knees, and the other way we do it as well. That's it, good. So nice and soft at the knees. Good. Just hold it there. And from there, so if you are standing, we do it in our show in uh, sitting as well. Just bring your arms in front of you, link your fingers, link your fingers, bring your chin to your chest, and straighten your arms out as much as you can. Just hold it out there, that's good. Keep it going, hold it there as you're sitting. It's exactly the same thing. Yeah. Bring your chin to your chest, hold it up there. Good. Three, two, one, and from there. Bring your hands just behind your waist. Bring your elbows as close together as you can. If you are standing, exactly the same. Bring your elbows as close together as you can. Good. Just hold it there. In three, two, one. Okay. So now one for the hamstrings or back of the leg. And take one step forward. Step down. Stick your bottom back. So your front leg should be straight. And with your toe pointing upwards, the other hand on your rested leg or bent leg, leaning forward. You should feel some mild discomfort in the back of your leg. It may well be in your calf muscle, but it's likely to be in your, um, in your hamstring, which is the major muscle in the back of your leg. Just hold it there. It's good. And from there, you can do some sitting as well. It looks exactly the same. In sitting, exactly the same. And just swap your legs over. Okay, lean forward. That's good. Lean well. Hold that stretch there. In four, three, two, one. Good. So from there, just one uh, two more things to go. You're just going to run your hands past your knees towards your ankles. 
and bring your chest towards your legs. Just hold it there. Again, getting a bit of a stretch in your stomach and also your back. Good. And just come up slowly, engaging those stomach muscles and those back as you continue to go. Good. And to finish off, we're just going to just bring our arms out, um, palms facing outwards. And we're going to take three deep breaths. So in through the nose and out through the mouth. Are we ready? Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And last one, breathe in. And breathe out. Well done, everybody. Yay. <laughs> okay.